All right, it's Thursday, August 15th, end of the day recap. Uh, so let's talk some stocks here, and I just want to share some thoughts about the market. You know, the market today uh, sold off 225 uh, points, and I think it's fantastic that it does that. Uh, for some of you, you may be wondering, why is it fantastic? I mean, you probably, you know, went down whatever amount of percentage points in your portfolio, and you're probably thinking, why is he saying it's fantastic? Well, the thing is, is if you look at it logically and systematically, when the stock market goes down, it allows you to buy good stocks, great companies at much lower prices. When the stock market goes down, you're going to have new opportunities, new chart patterns that get set up, and you're going to be able to purchase things at a discount. Now, the thing is, is you don't want to ride your stocks down on the way. So if you're, for example, in, you know, just like JC Penny over here that I mentioned like early this week, you know, I said, okay, it's breaking this trend line. Here's the short position. You enter it. And, you know, you don't want to be riding it down. Look at all this inflow of volume that came in. You know, again, it's not as much as earlier here, but it was enough to break that point. So that stock kept going down and down. And then today people are talking about it. Oh, JC Penney's going up. Okay, it went up, what, 72 cents? Um, you know, if you look at the long term chart patterns, let's just say the weekly, I mean, does that chart? look fairly healthy to you. I mean, it's it's heading down this way in this direction. It's not a very healthy chart pattern, even if you look at it on a zoomed in version. No, it, it it's not. It's not a healthy chart pattern. Uh, looking at Macy's as well today, breaking down. Look at it right here. It was going up for quite some time right here. Here's the trend line heading up, heading higher. And look, look how far extended it is from the trend line. Tried to go back to this zone uh, at that trend line right here and bounce off of it. And then, you know, again, it now exploded with volume to the downside. It's trying to catch this 200 day, you know, it's it's trying to get in that zone and in that region. And the charts and the stocks are a little overextended. So looking at the Dow today, I mean, looking at the market, I mean, I had this trend line up here, you know, for the last week, um, you know, looking at it. Sometimes I'll redraw things. I'll just delete all my drawings and then I'll just start fresh. So I start looking at the different levels. Where is it going to hit? Where is it going to hit next? How's the volume looking? Where's the price action? You know, uh, where are people trading? You know, like right here, if we hit this, you know, uh, 15,000 level or like 14,950, you know, it may head back higher. Who knows? You don't know. All you can do is just trade what you're given and, you know, stick to your stops, stick to your risk reward strategies and, you know, just trade them accordingly. Um, but, you know, but pullbacks are great. Pullbacks are fantastic. And you'll learn to love them when you don't ride them on the way down because they do create new chart opportunities. They do create new setups. They create new price patterns. They allow you to uh, purchase great companies at lower prices and they allow you to get them at a discount. Don't be dollar cost averaging down. You know, some people will say, hey, you know, uh, looking at JC Penny here, you know, they buy it over here at, you know, $16. Then it goes down. Then they buy some more. Then they buy some more. And you're over leveraging your risk. You're overextending your risk. And yes, of course, the stock can't go to zero. Uh, but most of the time, I, I mean, that's what people will say. It does. It, I mean, the probability of it going to zero is very unlikely, right? Well, I know of a few companies, think of, you know, General Motors and Lehman Brothers and AIG that did run down pretty low. And Looking at companies like uh, even AMD, if you look at, let's say, the uh, monthly here or yearly, quarterly, whatever, um, I mean, look at this run that it's had. I mean, it was up, where is it? Here we go. It was up at $50 a share, and now it's at $4. And has it been, how many years has it been there? You know, it's been there for what since 2008 or so it's been less than ten dollars so there's companies out there that'll just stay down there so anyway looking at the market today on the s p 500 you know things did break down they broke these regions they gapped down we may see higher prices uh on the bounce just because we are so we dipped so much yesterday we may see a bounce but one day doesn't make a trend. So stick to your risk reward strategy, stick to your stops, stick to your rules, stick to your system and learn to love the pullbacks because they do create new opportunities. You just got to watch for them. So keep an open mind and trade them right. All right. Enjoy the day and uh, I'll see you soon.